rise in air travel is any indication, Americans are feeling more comfortable making travel plans. And as more people embrace the idea of mixing work with play, it has led to a boom in a new type of getaway. And joining us today from Anaheim, California, is lifestyle expert Sadie Murray to tell us all about this new trend, leisure travel. Welcome, Sadie. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to talk about this new trend, leisure. I feel like we've been doing this maybe and we didn't even realize it, but it is trending. The blending of these business trips is such a great opportunity. Why is this type of travel so on trend? It's so popular. I mean, we want to blend business and leisure. People want to get outside. They want to see the different sites. They've already planned this trip, right, for they're, they're going to the convention center. They've got something going on with work, and they want to extend their stay. While you're scheduling your business trips, keep leisure in mind and bring your family and friends along for the trip. Visit Anaheim actually has surveyed over 2,000 people and asked do you want to spend more time on a business trip and have some fun too? And the answer was absolutely. People aren't just looking to fly in, go to the meeting and fly out. People are looking to hang out a little bit longer, extend this stay, check out the city, the sites, the culture, concerts, restaurants, and really enjoy where they're at, especially after being so pent up during the pandemic. Visit Anaheim conducted a survey of business travelers. Can you tell us what they found was the most popular location for leisure travel? Yes, California, of course, is at the very top of the list as the number one place where people want to go for work trips. And Anaheim was at number one because we have the convention center here that is the largest on the West Coast, bringing in a million attendees every single year. There's so much going on. The campus is at the heart of everything. So you can walk to all of your meetings. Then you can check out a restaurant or a theme park. I mean, multiple hotels. If you're going to be doing all these fun new things, you don't want to do it alone. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your significant other on the trip. Let them enjoy, you know, everything that Anaheim has to offer from Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm to, of course, wine tasting, concerts. So great for families and couples. It's just so great. So they can have some fun during the day when you're clocking out, you know, finished with your meetings, go meet your, your family for a lovely dinner or fun lunch and just enjoy everything that Anaheim has right now. With 840 miles of coastline and world-class theme parks, I think California is a winning option. Now when Visit Anaheim's latest research from business travelers, what do they find was the best part of traveling for work? This survey really revealed that at number one, seeing different places just came out at top at 70%. People just want to get out and see new spots, followed by meeting new people. Also, we've got getting away from the workplace, just getting out of the office, seeing new people, and then trying new things and getting out of town. Those are the top five perks right now of leisure, really rounding out why this is such a trend. Anaheim is a city built on imagination, and you have a way that we can do more than just envision ourselves in Anaheim. Tell us about it. Don't get me wrong, I love a good dream, but let's make it a reality, okay? Write this down, go to visitanaheim.org slash giveaway for your chance to win two nights at the beautiful Anaheim Marriott and then also four tickets to Knott's Berry Farm so your whole family can enjoy and you can get the job done and have some fun. So many fun ideas. I can't wait to book my next getaway. Sadie, we thank you so much for sharing this chance to win. Thank you. And we thank you for joining us on San Diego Living. We'll see you next time.